Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Nier Reincarnation video. Guys, we got so much to talk about today. It's been a massive, massive update that just got released, and there are a slew of things to discuss and go over. If you are now joining Nier uh, Reincarnation, this is a great time to actually start playing the game because they've given out so many different rewards, such as uh, gems and other items for you to get, and there's a brand new event going on, as well as a new summon and a new chapter. So let's go through some of these things, guys, and what you can expect when you're starting. So the first thing is, on the 18th, this is when everything dropped, all right? So the first thing they did release is the Aberrant Memory Dungeon, um, which is a brand new boss you can far farm memoirs with. And the following memoirs are going to be now be available, okay? So you can get the Dawn set, uh, sorry, the uh, yeah, the, the set is called the Ambitious Land, which reduces your damage uh, uh, by 10% three times at the start of a wave. So it's a great defensive memoir if you're looking to uh, fight bosses and you have a, a, a tank set up there. Um, they also, they have the Blighted Flowers, which is actually a way to reduce your weapon skills by 15% at the start of battle. If you get the large set, you get 30%, which is actually pretty damn good, guys. Considering if you have a fast weapon skill, uh, you can pretty much spam it non-stop. This is probably going to be a pretty big one for me. I'm going to try to farm these ones and get them out of the way. And then lastly, you have the uh, Inferior Memories, which is increases your chance to do a normal attack. Will be a 3 chain or greater by 5% and 10%. This one's a little lower in the in the scale for me. Um, I'd have to really test this one out to see if it's worthwhile. But a normal attacks have the ability to do a 1 hit or it can do a chain, right? And, and this just increases the chance to do a 3 chain or more based on your normal attack. So pretty good um, overall drop set. I haven't done the boss yet, guys, so I'll definitely try that. That I'll let you know how it is but that has been released now and if you have completed chapter 6 you are able to do this boss as well uh, I've been farming personally the witch and uh, the tyrant most and that's been kind of where I've been I've been at uh, for memoirs and I've been getting the four star ones and trying to max them out but it takes so much gold so that's that's the first thing they release guys all right the second thing they release now as well too is the new chapter campaign all right so right now you get 50 gems every single day just for logging in up to seven days uh, pretty straightforward there and then also you get uh, if you complete it, you get 300 gems 300 large enhancements for your character and uh, 25,000 gold uh, so pretty easy and then also there are new premium packs for whales and dolphins to buy additional um, gems as well as they offer you bonus gems whenever you purchase those so that's something that's been released and now the new character is called mist on the water uh, so echoes in the heart new chapter so that is now available as well too which I'll be doing uh, of course clearing it you'll get yourself a character which is Noelle she looks pretty damn badass I'm not gonna lie I, I like I love this outfit and not to mention she's pretty much on par with the near automata characters uh, and then you also get the new goodie which is an amazing item guys so goodies are a special item that can be fulfilled certain conditions uh, so this is essentially just gives you the ability to have 50% more rubies emeralds aquamarines uh, tanzanites and topaz from all daily quests that's gonna be massive that's, that's, a, that's a pretty big deal guys like that means you're getting more skill items and, and weapon enhancement items, etc. So definitely go for that and get that out of the way. Uh, so that's going on right now. So definitely work on getting yourself into that and completing that new chapter to get yourself that uh, the goodies plus plus all the gems that come with it, right? And now, guys, we have new summons. So there's a half year summer anniversary going on, and then there's a Mama's Exciting Festival summons going on. So the half year anniversary is as follows. All right, so you can get yourself. Uh, there's exchanges and summons. Of course, exchange is, is a pity system. I think it's up to 200 coins and you can exchange for one of the characters. They are limited time characters. There's Argo, uh, Celebratory Traveler. There is Gale, which is Celebratory Hunter. Uh, uh, Griff, which is Celebratory Captain. And then Noel, Celebratory Weapon. And they all, of course, come with their four star weapons. Now, these weapons here are going to be used as bonus uh, event drops for the new event. So make sure, guys, if you want to perform the event uh, pretty, pretty like fast that is at least you can get these guys out of the way summon for them and hopefully you get one or two of them and get their weapons and then of course ascending their weapons will provide you the ability to get more points during the event right so that's the big thing to remember and then the event itself is called record garden of benediction and it's fio here uh, who seems to be the character and her weapon will grant attack boost and increase the garden of benediction metal drops so those are the weapons i was talking about above so by getting those you get yourself the ability to farm and do more attack power during during the event and obviously clear the event a little quicker uh so the difference between mama's exciting festival and the regular uh sorry the half anniversary festival i don't really know the difference to be honest with you i think yeah i don't really know the difference to be honest i think it's the same thing i'm, I'm assuming let's just go to the summons and double check let's go to it here so this one here is, oh, it's free. Oh, okay, well, there you go, <laughs> that's a bonus. And then this is actually costing something. Okay, and then this one here, 
actually cost something. Okay, we'll get well here we go guys. Let's just do this. Let's do this. We'll do a times ten right now. See what we get. Let's just do a skip. That looks like a pretty damn nice door. We might be getting something special here, folks. Yeah! Oh, a four-star weapon. Hey, I'm not gonna complain. That's new. What is this? Is this something that I can use for the event? Hmm. I don't think this is an event weapon. But hey, a free four-star. That's not a bad deal. I'll take it. So that right there, guys, is, is available. So that's the difference with the Mama one. So you get yourself a free times 10 summon. That's Man, this game is really, really generous, honestly. And then so the record of uh, Garden of uh, Benediction is out now. Uh, so they are actually providing anybody who jumps on 300 limited times small recovery stamina um, that can be used during the event. So that's great for people who are lacking stamina or not buying stamina uh, every day, which you should be from the shop anyways, and, and saving them. You, they're providing you guys the ability to get them. As you proceed, you'll also be able to read an exclusive event and earn yourself up to 5,400 gems. That's a lot of gems, guys. So, um, And the near reincarnation characters are coming out soon. A lot of people are actually waiting for those. So if you are also waiting for that, it's a great time to save if you don't really care about the event. But here's the character. As you can see here, she does. Uh, she's a she's a, a buffer, and what looks like she has the ability to increase uh, dark affinity weapons by 25%. So she's definitely a dark affinity uh, fist user. So not not bad. Um, by trading weapons, wicked bottles. So that's the event there, and this is the ascension. Ascension, right? This is how it works, guys. When you have the ascension weapon, uh, you, the unascended one is two medals: first, second, third, and fourth. Of course, the last one being plus 15 medals, which is a lot, especially if you have three of them running at the same time. You'll clear this event so quickly without using too much stamina. And these are the weapons that actually apply. As you can see, the one I got does not apply towards it. But hey, four star weapons are four star weapons, and these are the characters that come with these weapons. And if you have them they actually will increase your attack power uh, or their attack power is increased by 50%. All right, so keep that in mind. So there you have it, guys. That is the event, essentially. I don't think there is much else going on here. Uh, let's close this for a second and see. I mean, that's quite a bit of content to, to work with, guys. So uh, here we go. And this is the half the half anniversary Japanese thing going on. So you get free, free items. Um, there's the gift right there. You get 3,000, a four-star premium summon ticket. Like, if we go to a free box, we should see that. Or maybe not yet, maybe it's coming, but it should be arriving. Oh, there it is. It is already here. Perfect, guys. So there's a four star. So go ahead, guys, jump in there. This is, again, a really good time to be joining because they're giving so many free things away for players just because of the half anniversary going on in Japan. Um, and do yourself a favor. Go, get in there, get your free summons out of the way, and pull yourself a four star character or weapon, whatever the case may be. Let's see what I get. Um, and yeah, amazing time to be starting this. Oh, look at that. I did get a character. Uh, I think I got Gale. Because I don't have her at 4 star level yet. So that's amazing for me. Let's go with skip. Don't worry about the animations here. I just want to see the character pop up. And there you have it, guys. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Whoa, I've never seen this before. That's really cool. I've actually never seen a... What, what the hell? I've actually never seen that. that I think because I do multis all the time, I've never done a, a single and got a four-star character. I've only ever had four-star weapons. That was that was awesome. That was really, really cool. Um, and then now, because I did that, I probably get bonus gems. Yeah, 3,000 for collecting the, the two of them. That's so cool. There you go, guys. It's been, it's been a pretty damn good start to the day. Uh, so that, that's it, everybody. everybody. That's the event. Um, I will be doing some summon videos on these characters when, I, when I'm when i ready. Uh, and also probably be covering the, uh, the the chapters. I'm caught up now. So I'll definitely be going for that goodies plus uh, item for uh, the dailies. Definitely, guys. Get, get through the chapters and get that out of the way. That's that's a pretty incredible item to have in your in your repertoire. And also we're going to be starting the uh, subquests, which is the event. Uh, let's get to it right here, right here. And then you can see now, uh, let's just go through the story real quick. There's hard, normal, everything stays the same. And if you go to exchange, you get you actually can get her, which is a four star, and her weapon uh, four times and complete that max. And you can actually get her maxed out. So that's pretty damn bomb guys i have to say this again the gener generosity in this game is just unbelievable like i don't i've never seen a game that that gives out so much uh for so little 
right? Uh, all it does is require a little bit of your time, but you can see here there's a lot to farm, uh, so it's actually worthwhile having some of these characters uh, in the summons just so you guys can farm these a little more effectively without using too much stamina, but it's not the end of the world if you can't. I've per pretty much cleared out every single uh, event except for this item here. I think it's my last... Oh, there's actually a couple items here that I haven't done yet. Um, but yeah, so definitely guys get in there, uh, jump on and take advantage of this and start farming uh, and collecting all of your... Uh, exchange coins and the characters don't look too bad but I'll, I'll probably cover those characters once I get a chance to test them myself. Alright everybody this is Payne, hope you enjoyed the video, we'll talk soon.